Ever wondered why your lemon wedge is full of seeds while your lime slice isn't? It's a citrusy conundrum that puzzles many. To solve this mystery, we need to delve into the world of fruit genetics and farming techniques. Firstly, we must understand that not all limes are created equal. The limes you commonly find in supermarkets are Persian limes, a naturally occurring hybrid between true limes and citrons. These Persian limes are parthenocarpic, a term which means they are produced without fertilization and hence devoid of seeds. In contrast, true limes, known as Mexican, Key, or West Indian limes, do possess seeds. Persian limes are preferred by many due to their larger size, thicker skin, and increased resistance to diseases, offering them a longer shelf life. But how are these limes produced if they don't have seeds? This is where the concept of parthenocarpic fruit comes into play, and it's not related to genetic modification, as some may believe. In normal fruit production, a flower's egg cell is fertilized by pollen, triggering the development of the fruit. However, parthenocarpic fruit develops without this fertilization, usually due to issues with the eggs or sperm, pollination problems, or chromosomal imbalances. Interestingly, Seedless or large-fruited limes have three sets of chromosomes instead of the usual two. This genetic abnormality makes wild reproduction extremely rare for Persian limes. So, farmers resort to a technique known as grafting, where a part of a seedless lime tree is inserted into a new tree. This method essentially clones the original tree, ensuring the production of more seedless limes on a commercial scale. Now, it's not to say all limes are seedless and all lemons have seeds. There are indeed varieties of limes that have seeds, and there are lemons that are seedless. The occasional seed may also be found in seedless lemons due to cross-pollination if they were grown near other fruit trees. In summary, the reason you find seeds in your lemon but not in your lime boils down to the type of lime, the concept of parthenocarpic fruit, and the grafting process. Now that you're equipped with this knowledge, you're ready to explore more food mysteries. Like, is a tomato a vegetable or fruit? What's the difference between shrimp and prawns? And what exactly is horseradish sauce? Or why do we call defective cars lemons? Stay curious and keep exploring the fascinating world of food.